This is another in the first read series, where I just do a first reading of a poem by a poet I don't know or I know very little about, so that I have a, an initial experience of them, just for the sheer joy of it, not to explain it to a crowd, not to teach it or anything, just to experience it. Uh, I think that's what brought me to poetry in the first place. I think sometimes I go, but would go back and read some of the pieces in the first read series and totally change my mind if I read it again or change, read it with the, the context of another poet, another work by that same poet, put it in context, but for now this is just a straight up reading. This is from Control V. I like Control V. It's a nice little journal. Um, and it's got this cool little thing in the Winter 21 one. Uh, you can sort through it and then you can follow out the lines to the, the poems. I'm really just picking at random. I don't know why, but Lucy Zhang sticks out to me. I just do this. I don't know people's work, so I'm just uh, clicking on it. It's Lucy Zhang. All right. This looks pretty interesting. It says, Notes Hypertext Poem made in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. All right. And the background is circling on this. It doesn't say anything about Lucy Zhang, so I'm just going to read it. Um, I don't know where this is going to go. It uh, is a single line. It looks like links. Something's going to happen with them, so let's just experience them. Uh, I like a new experience when I'm reading poems sometimes, so I think this is fun. Fun uh, play, I think. Not enough poets pay... Uh, Pay attention to how new technologies can create a new kind of experience. So she gives birth to Prickles. I don't know who she is, but giving birth to Prickles. Um, what exactly is a prickle? Like a prickle on a skin? I'm not, not sure, so let's click birth. Okay, another line pops up in the background, just changed. She birthed them with noble purposes you were designed to protect. So she births Prickles with noble purposes. And you were designed to protect. Well, I don't know which one to click next. It looks like we have two, so I'm going to just go in order of the line. Um, it's one of those poems where I think you could probably read it multiple ways, like a choose-your-ending you know, novel or something based on what you click. So clicking on Priggles next, I'm just going to click on the next ones. You know, we have some more links pop up at that point. They line stems as hooked daggers. They line stems as hooked daggers. What do the prickles? The prickles line stem just hooked daggers. I'm not sure. Let's go to protect and see what happens. All right. We got four lines and we've changed again. That she's never been there to protect them. Earlier in line two, it says you're designed to protect. She's never been there to protect them. Um, so you're designed to protect. I don't know the who, who the you is or the she at this point, but we'll see what happens. Stems is my next one in the link, so let's go. Okay, we have more links popping up. The more every time we click. Another thing pops up that'll lead me somewhere else. The line stems took daggers, her baby, so this line just shifted in between these other lines. So now if that means this is how it's supposed to be read, the order. Her babies protrude from the epidermis. Spread until the surface is more prickly outgrowth than sweetness. So we go back to the she here. She bursts them with noble purposes. They protrude, these babies protrude from the epidermis. They're coming out from the skin. And they spread until the surface is more pickly outgrowth than sweetness. All right, I can't remember if I picked daggers um, because of this reading process. Let me see. All right, obviously I didn't because a new line has popped up. And when she, what she doesn't mention is how her children curve down, hooks waiting to sink into neighboring plants, monopolize sunlight, star about the other. So this one makes it feel like the she is a plant. We had this prickly thing earlier. I mean, maybe, you know, reading it, some kind of human thing is a misreading. Children curve down, prickly curving down out of the epidermis. We have epidermis there. So we have to go back to the human. Hooks waiting to sink into neighboring plants, monopolize sunlight. It sounds plant-like at that point, but the epidermis part doesn't earlier. Let's click on babies. All right, another line thrown in between the sides. She's never been there to protect him, keeps getting moved down. Um, I'm not sure if that says something about its importance. The background, of course, keeps shifting with the clicks. Don't grow up too pretty, she tells them. An over-concerned mother whose uterus only expels the ugly. Wow. So this birth thing going on, the plant life thing going on. Now we have the ugly. Does that go with the prickles? 
like the mother expelling these prickles and that you're designed to protect. Who's designed to protect? The prickles? The prickles are designed to protect her or we are supposed to protect them. It's hard to tell at this point. That's so crazy. Lying there, I'm not sure what to make with it. I like it. And I'm not sure what to make with it. The over-concerned mother whose uterus only expels the ugly. There's no links in these two lines. So maybe they don't go anywhere. Okay, babies was the last one I picked. Let me click surface. The house fungi. Sporotrichosis, which I'm not sure what that is. I'd have to look it up. Is that the house fungi? Maybe. The last line of defense because she will not be there to protect them. So they house these fungi as defense because the mother is not going to be there to protect them because she's expelling them. But she only expels the ugly. Huh. So that makes it seem like the prickles here are the ones that are designed to tech, protect. But I'm not really sure. Okay, I only have one more link. These last lines aren't pulling up links. Alright, is that it? Alright, there we go. Don't grow pretty. That repeating line, but without the two in this point. So I feel like we have the whole poem on the page and it really spreads out. It's like a centered poem, but it doesn't feel centered because of the different line links in the process of opening up the poem. And I suppose this last image is suggestive of an end because the image changed here. So the whole poem, Lucy Zhang, she gives birth to prickles. She bursts them with noble purposes you were designed to protect. They line stems as hooked daggers. Her babies protrude from the epidermis spread until the surface is more prickly outgrowth than sweetness. When she, what she doesn't mention is how her children curve down, hooks waiting to sink into neighboring plants, monopolize sunlight, starve out the others. Don't grow up too pretty, she tells them. An overconcerned mother whose uterus only expels the ugly. Don't grow pretty. That there's this definite, you know, interplay between ha birthing and this very human epidermis, children, but plant thing. Don't grow. There's a grow again, sinking into the neighboring plants. I'm not really sure what to do with they have fungi. The last line of defense, she's never been there to protect them. So the mother is not protecting these kids she's birthing. And she gives birth to prickles. And they're not really sure still what to do with that first line. Um, whatever she's birthing is not beautiful and must protect itself because she's not going to protect it. How that works with being a child, plants, I'm not really sure. Um, very, I mean, it's a very fun process. For this one, it opens up. You're not sure which lines to read first, which link to click on first, and I suspect um, you can have various different readings of this poem depending on which thing you click first. Like I went left to right, and then went from you know the, just in order of what showed up on a line. But I think if you went backwards, you'd get a different experience. Um, if you clicked down on the lines, you just click randomly, you would get a different experience. So. Very interesting. Um, I think this is a fascinating idea of opening up with a poem. I don't know that I have an exact grasp on what's going on, but I don't really care because the experience of thinking through it and watching the words pop up and having an interactive element with that made it uh, interesting to think about um, in general, about what the poem means and could mean. So, fun experience. Um, Lucy Zhang, definitely going to have to check out Lucy's, Lucy Zhang's other work, I think. This is an interesting concept for how to how to put together work. And I'm, I'm really kind of fascinated with how you would do this outside of the web if you were trying to do this as a book format or if you're like stuck in this kind of web format for this and how Lucy Zhang would read it herself if she had to present it.